In today's video, we're opening McDonald's Kids Meal Packs from 2006. What's up guys, we're back with another McDonald's pack opening, which we have not done in a very long time. And as you guys know, I'm a big McDonald's pack one guy, but we've never really done McDonald's pack two. And as you see before you, I not only have the booster packs, but I have the toys as well. So this is gonna be just like you're a kid in 2006, you're going to McDonald's, you get a happy meal, or I guess happy meal, maybe a mighty kid's meal, who knows. Uh, is that there or is that Burger King? I can't remember. And you get your toy, you get your cards. We're gonna open up a bunch of these. I have over 20 of these packs. I've never opened Opened, I've opened the packs, but I've never opened these like, uh, you know, the actual kids meal little things where you get the toys, which that looks like some sort of cyber dragon or something. It's gonna be pretty cool because I've never done this before. And uh, I'm not gonna keep these all on the screen like this the whole time. Maybe I will actually, that's kind of cool. So we're, we have a giveaway first. I got these from Yugi Hunter, who was another Yugi tuber. If you guys have not heard of him, go check him out. He sent me a giveaway as well. All right, here we go. I've included this first edition Yada Gras, who was a giveaway. Good luck pulling the $100 error card. I asked because I'm not super familiar with McDonald's pack two, and he said the electric Spectrum has a uh, a different set code. It's like a K at the end. So we're gonna be looking out for that. Thanks for buying these from me, Yugi Hunter. Yugi Hunter is giving away a first at Yada Garasu. So make sure you go check out his channel. He's got some cool content. He's a pretty cool guy. So uh, that you can win. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. Will we pull the error card in this video? And do you remember personally getting these yourself? in 2006, because I personally got them in 2002, and by 2006, I was kind of fading out of Yu-Gi-Oh! Didn't go to McDonald's as much and stuff like that, so I didn't actually get these myself. Let me know if you guys got them and what kind of memories you have about them, because I want to hear the stories. You know, I was a kid, I pulled this and this, and then I dominated someone on the playground or whatever happened. All right, sorry my voice sounds like I just woke up. Spoiler alert, you guys know I just did. Okay, I was debating keeping some of these sealed and now I'm just, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So let's just start off with one. So they tell you what you get. You get Zane Truesdale toy. So I guess this is Zane. Let's open it up. This just feels wrong to open these, to be honest. But it's McDonald's, it's an opening channel. We gotta do it. These packs are gonna be absolutely terrible. Like the, the cards are gonna be destroyed because they're in there with a toy. But you know, that's why we gotta do it. We gotta see what's going on. So let's pull this out of the pack. Zane Truesdale right there with his dual disc. So uh, the instructions, first of all, it's a it's a wristband. Okay, time out, time out. All right, let's see if this fits a, a non-kid. So I mean, I, I'm a giant kid, but I don't know if it's going to fit me in terms of physical. Let's see. Right, I'm going to try to put it on. There we go. Okay, so we got the wrist, the wrist watch. Maybe I, dude, I need to wear this and, and make a Twitter post. That'd be hilarious. Okay, you put a some sort of, is that a Yu-Gi-Oh card? Are we shooting Yu-Gi-Oh cards like Kaiba? Cause I don't see any other card. It's got, <laughs> we gotta put a, this card ain't gonna fit. Uh, uh, this card ain't gonna work. Uh, Cause that slot is not bent. So uh, I think we're, I think we're stuck with this one, but all right, Zane Truesdale, the wristwatch, got it. First pack magic. The thing is, these are all like, uh, these are all rares. These are all common stuff like that. So uh, there's nothing like there's no Millennium Shield, you know, big ultra or anything like that. So we just got to get rares and commons. That's like the less exciting part about this. But there's an error card. So let's see if we can get it. OK, and these are not cheap packs. So hopefully we can get something we have. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this. We have a uh, Miss Body. That's a rare. You get three cards in here. We have Kaiser Dragon and Dungeon Worm. I, I might need to flatten these suckers out because uh, yeah, I, th I think there's going to be a wide range of what condition the cards are in today. Uh, either way, though, we're getting open McDonald's pack, too, which is pretty fun. OK, let's try the next one. This one looks like it's going to be Cyber and Dragon. OK, Cyber and Dragon, what do you look like? Are you a wristwatch as well? Do you can you I mean, we have Zane already, so let's let's try it out. All right, Cyber and Dragon. This is a pretty cool opening. This is one you probably won't see every day. Oh, you got to assemble him. You got to assemble the Cyber and Dragon. OK, so that pack is actually a little bit. A little bit less damage, still damaged, but okay. So you gotta put the what is this card they keep showing? Is that a Yu-Gi-Oh card? You gotta keep putting Yu-Gi-Oh cards in there. All right, we're gonna open this part up. All right, put the wings on, and then apparently something happens when you put a Yu-Gi-Oh. I guess he starts rolling on these wheels. I mean, that's kind of dope. I'm not gonna lie. He looks a little bit more flat than I would think. Like you know, in the card, he's kind of standing up. This one, he's kind of like in attack mode. You know, he's like. I mean, I guess he is gonna be in attack mode when you put the card in there. So okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's no Zane Truesdale wristwatch, but it's pretty nice. Okay, these cards. Let's see if we can get any like non-damaged cards in this opening. That's the goal. Try not to get damaged cards here. All right, uh, let's do this way. Yeah, not quite as bad. We have Whitehorn Dragon. Yeah, you guys know that card from, uh, it's a promo in, what set? Is it Retro Pack 2? I can't remember. We have uh, Amphibious Bugroth. Whoa! 
Ground Attacker Bugroth and Sentinel of the Sea combined to make Amphibious Bugroth. That's awesome. And Flame Viper, 400 attack. That is a definitely some sort of a GBA game special for sure. Like not exactly powerful, but they give it to you every time. All right, who we got next? We've got another Cyber. And you know what? If we've already opened one, I think I'm going to keep them, you know, keep them sealed. So we got Cyber and Dragon. This one actually seems like it's not damaged though cyber and dragon we're only we're not gonna open any repeats i think why do i have so many cyber in maybe i will open a couple repeats let's try to another side never mind i don't know how many different toys there are let me just find different ones first let's okay here's one elemental hero shining flare wingman i do want i do think i want to keep a couple sealed because you know this is you don't really see them sealed very often it's pretty cool okay this might be a good chance because this one is a flat toy so not as much chance to get damaged uh what is this Wait, this is the Shining Flare Wingman is just a flat piece? <laughs> wow, we got gypped on this one. Okay, how does this work? Oh, it's like a it's like a little box. You go like this, and then how does it work? You insert the card again. Y is this like a, a deck box? Is this supposed to be a deck box? There's no this would only work if there's no sleeves in there. Alright. How cool would this be if you rocked this deck box at a tournament, though? The problem is you'd have to have no sleeves on your cards. <laughs> That's the main problem, but. Hey, pretty cool. All right, we got McDonald's pack. Very reflection-y. Oh, no. Calm down, calm down. Calm. I keep dropping these. Probably because they're very small. Open this up. Let's get something cool. McDonald's pack. Oh, let's go back this way. We have... Oh, the Electrum. Oh, it's not the K. Yeah, we got to have EN001K, apparently. So that that is not... It's the right card, but the wrong misprint. Not a misprint. We have Zone Eater and we have Moon Envoy. That's a pretty cool looking card. I feel like this looks like another artwork. It's like sitting in the same position as what's the other card? If you guys can think of it, let me know in the comments. Hey, by the way, these cards, that would have been the perfect one to have the misprint because these cards are actually near mint. So it, here's the OK, we figured it out. If you're ever buying these sealed and you're trying to get near mint cards, you got to get the one with the uh, Flame Wingman on it. Or is it Flame Wingman or Shining Flare Wingman? Things shining flare wing man that has the best chance at not being damaged. I think maybe this one too, whatever this one is. This is oh, the Yami Yugi to Yami Yugi on GX. Okay, I guess he is in it for a second, but yeah. So uh, those are the ones you want to get. You don't want to get the Cyber and Dragon. That's a good chance that thing gets destroyed. See, look, look how flat those packs are. Okay, this one it's got two set of instruct misprint. Two set of instructions. <gasps> Error packaging. We have found the misprint. Different misprint than we were expecting. This one holds squares. Okay. No, maybe this is a dex box too. Yeah, they, they looked a little more squarey there though. Okay, yeah, you can put your cards in there. We got a Yami Yugi deck box. Check that out. Ooh, the McDonald's deck box. Pretty epic. Let's try this GX pack. This has been pretty cool. It's definitely a nice change up. You know, stuff we don't open like never open really okay let's, let's see uh about this pack can you have the electrum misprint card here we go we have okay i keep doing that okay mudball man that is not the right one trackadon there you go dinosaur fans that's a cool looking card i mean just straight up dinosaur guy amphibious bug roth amphibious bug roth got to be a top tier card out of here i mean it's amphibious bug roth right man even the back is still jacked up Okay, so we've opened all these different ones. Is there any more? So we have Cyber End Dragon. We have Cyber End Dragon. We have Cyber End Dragon. Okay, here's a different one. Wing Karibo level 10. There's so many Cyber End Dragons. Look, I can't blame you for keeping the Cyber End Dragons. Those are pretty awesome. Wing Karibo level 10. This one's probably got a damage pack as well. Let's find out. So let's get rid of that. Here's the instructions. Four steps. Pretty serious. Gotta put the wings on. Yeah, we got more. We got more bent cards. All right, here we go. Here's what Wing Karibo level 10 look. Wait, is this what Wing Karibo level 10 looks like? Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember this being the face. All right, there we go. Now you can see him, but you kind of got to kind of got to tilt him upward to figure out what he looks like. Okay, so we found Wing Karibo level 10. We have more bent cards. Let's see if they will have the misprint inside. Maybe, maybe not. Let's find out. All right, uh, Jaden, we have Mist Body. Okay. Phibius Bugroth has been in every pack, basically. Pragdical, very Pragdical. We have Trocodon and Flame Viper make the Pragdical. Okay. More bent cards. Let's see if there's one we haven't done yet. I think this green one we haven't done. What is this? This is Aster Phoenix. Okay. Aster Phoenix. Wait, there's no Jaden one? There's got to be a Jaden one that we haven't opened yet. Okay, let's see. So Astro Phoenix, also a wristwatch. So Astro Phoenix or Zane, which one do you pr prefer? They can turn their head. Interesting. All right. You don't really have to do anything with this one. The instructions, you know, you're just putting it on your wrist. All right. What will Jaden Yuki give us? Give us the 
Apparently it's a hundred dollars for the error card, so uh, I take one. La Jin, the alternate art, pretty cool. Rocks and special. We have Pragnical and Dungeon Worm. These are some really old school bad cards for sure. Okay, uh, I think I saw another one. Is this it? Maybe. Yeah, this one looks different. We have Destiny Hero Doom Lord. Got a toy. Okay. Uh, he's got a giant cape. Wow, that is a pretty sick looking toy okay what else do you do i guess he just rolls yeah he just rolls so nothing too crazy in terms of assembly or anything but doom lord looks way cooler in the toy than he does in the uh in the actual card so not bad let's see what the uh the pulls will be from the doom lord pack we have mist body dungeon worm and kaiser dragon all right more pretty pretty nice cards not too bad okay here's the whole set list by the way oh you can get Burstinatrix. that's what we want Alternate Art Burst Intatrix, Wing Karibo. Is that Metal Guardian? Okay, we need that guy. We need that guy. All right, so Cyber and Dragons are everywhere. Let's get those out of the way. We got a million. Okay, this one's different. This is, oh no, Zane Truesdale. We've opened that one. Uh, this one is Zane Truesdale. We've opened that one. Cyber in. So it looks like they're all Cyber Ends and wristwatches left. So, all right, let's open a couple of these then. We'll keep a few Cyber Ends sealed and some of that, the Astro Phoenix and stuff like that. Let's see if we can get non-damaged cards out of them. So we're not going to necessarily need to assemble Cyber End again. We will maybe later. Let's see. We have two uh, or three cards, not two cards. This is an Omidonis pack. One, we want to get the Electrum or Percentage Tricks would be cool. That's not an error though. Here we go. We have Percentage Tricks. Oh no, the Goki Boar Insect, a large special roach that attacks its enemies by rolling over them. A rolling roach. You want to... That would be terrifying. We have Kaiser Dragon and Moon Envoy. So those are not terrible condition. I mean, that's still bent, but not as bad as they have been. Okay, let's try to find one that looks pretty flat. This one looks flat. We have Jaden Yuki. Let's do a little, let's do a little pack trick because the rare is at the, is right there. We have Kaiser Dragon, we have Dungeon Worm. We have Yu-Gi-Oh GX and another Mist Body. Mist Body, stop it. So many of those. Okay, this one looks flat as well. Let's try this one. Let's try it out. McDonald's Pack 2 from 2006. The first time opening these up. Let's do a little pack trick again. Let's do it like that this time. We have Yuki, we have Pragnica, we have Trachodon. Goki Boar, stop it with the Goki Boar. Okay, okay, one, two, three. How many we got left? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's open a couple more. So about a couple more of these. Give us another chance. Come on. Give us another chance. We have Stone Dragon. Oh, Stone Dragon. I haven't pulled that yet. A dragon formed by huge boulders that are also used to attack the enemy. 2,000 attack. He's a two tribute, though. Not great. Flame Viper. And we have Burst Inatrix. There we go. I don't know if this is worth anything because it has the secret rare print and everything, but that's still really cool. I think this is the original alt art. I didn't realize that that came in McDonald's pack. Okay, that's pretty sick. Let's give ourselves another chance at the Electrum. So we've gotten everything we want, basically, besides misprint Electrum, but, you know, that's probably really hard to pull. Let's get McDonald's, Mickey D's, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Let's go. Come on, Jaden. Jaden. Okay, it's a little bent, but I'm still okay. Pragnica. Dungeon Worm. We have Whitehorn Dragon. Okay, okay those, are, those are seriously bent. All right, okay, we have three, six, eight left. Okay, we're gonna open two more. I think that's what, I, what I've decided. Two more, we'll keep six. Maybe they, I mean, who knows? We might pull it in these last two. They might still be in the last six, who knows? Maybe I'll just pull this out like this and put that over there. All right, doesn't feel too bent. Electrum with the K at the end for whatever reason. I don't know if they thought it was Korean or what. Oh, look at the centering on that. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that card got destroyed. Oh wow, they got, I got punched, okay. Aqua Dra Whoa, what is this? We got a misprint, but not the misprint we were looking for. This thing is super miscut. It has the part of another border on it. Berry Dragon, Amazon is the sea and zone. This is a three Pokemon fusion? Okay, or not Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh. Too many Pokemon. Okay, Amphibious Bugroth. Wait, we gotta put this down. First of all, I'll just call this a Pokemon. Second of all, this is insane. I've never pulled a card where it's cut off like that. Oh, that is sweet. We might have to open more of these. I might not be able to stop after that. I mean, this card's completely destroyed thanks to the, the giant bullet holes, basically, it's got in it. That is pretty sick. Okay, Aqua Dragon's a cool one, too. We hadn't even pulled it. That's a really cool card to have like that. That's an ultra, that's like, that's like off the card miscut. 
Amphibious Bogroth is also really off-centered. And then Bersinatrix, again, perfectly centered. All right, that's a really good pack. All right, let's keep going because now that I know we can get miscuts, who knows? Miscut, we get the alternate art, uh, or not alternate art, the uh, error card Electrum. So let's keep trying for that. So I'm just going to keep this Cyber Dragon in there. All right, so much for keeping stuff sealed. Let's just, let's just go all in. Let's do the pack trick again because it worked last time, okay? Got a miscut. We have Zone Eater. Moon Envoy and the Flute of Summoning Karibo. All right, that's, I mean, we haven't gotten that one yet, so I guess that's good. All right, all right, give us Electrum, give us another miscut. Give us a, uh, I mean, one that's like even more miscut would be pretty amazing. That is completely destroyed. <laughs> These are almost bent in half. I can feel where they're starting to bend in half. There might be a crease. Okay, yeah, those are, there. I think, yeah, that is, that is pretty bad. Let's just go straight to it. Okay, Whitehorn Dragon. Maybe it's Bugroth Stone Dragon. Those are literally, I mean, they've seen better days. More, we were, it's funny, we were searching for a misprint and we got a different misprint. I mean, that's pretty wild because normally you don't even get a misprint. So pulling a misprint, is, a random misprint is pretty cool. Okay, another really bent one. Oh, uh, Lajin. Oh my goodness, look at these cards. Yeah, the Cyber and Dragons just absolutely destroy them. Okay, this is what we have left. We've got these four. This one looks like it might not be terrible. This is for ages four. Happy Meal, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX 2006. Anything else interesting we didn't see? No, just a bunch of disclaimers and stuff. Come on. Okay, this one's flatter, so we're going to do the pack trick. We have Zone Eater. We have Dungeon Worm, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Oh, my God, man. No, only one Electrum so far. One Electrum. All right, let's go. Not completely terrible. That can go there. Okay, we have a little bent. There's an Aqua Dragon that's not bent, or it is bent, but not uh, off center. We have a another Burstinatrix. That's the third one. Definitely damaged though, unfortunately. Let's pull it. Elemental Hero Electrum with a misprint. Kaiser Dragon. Kaiser Dragon. That's pretty cool. I don't think we've only pulled one of those. Maybe Flame Viper. And Gokibor. All right. Gokibor, last pack magic. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me know about your McDonald's pack memories in the comments because I want to read them. Uh, and hopefully that will bless us with another good card. Uh, how do I open this thing? There we go. Childproof on the child um, children's toy. Okay. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. 1996, but really 2006 is when this came out. Okay. Last pack magic. Here we go. Bless us with something cool. All right. We are getting... Not too bent, so this is this could be a good ending. We have the Moon Envoy, Aqua Dragon again, and here we go. Last pack, here we go. Metal Guardian, cool, we didn't get that one. Okay, so we got a Metal Guardian, a fiend guarding the treasures of the netherworld. It's most at home in the dark. It's most at home in the dark. There we go, that's what it, I was like, it's most, what does that mean? It's most at home in the dark, very cool. Okay, so that turned out to be, uh, we didn't get the misprint we we're looking for, but we did get a really cool one. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffin Zadu, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Another Toy Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.